So, um, have you ever downloaded a game off the internet like Lego Island that was originally on a disc, like a DVD or a CD? And then you take, you know, you download the files, you know, and you extract the zip. Or if you don't need to extract the zip, you go into the folder and, you know, click on the setup or, you know, the install application. And then it installs and then you try to play it and it doesn't work. Have you ever wondered why that is? Or why it just doesn't work on Windows 10? Well, I mean, that Lego Island isn't really built to work on Windows 10 and it kind of crashes it. But, uh, I, well, I haven't tried the disc version that I made yet, but, um, that game actually expects itself to be on a disc with the files being on a disc. All you really need to do is take the folder what you need to do is put all of the files that you've downloaded and extracted, or in some rare cases not extracted, and then just left it in a folder. And you take that folder that you put the files in, and you need to put that on a disc, CD, DVD. You need to burn those to a disc. Make a. You need to make a. What you need to do is make a... What you really need to do is make... Hang on. I forget what it's called. Um... Uh, no. I... It doesn't matter what kind of disk you use as long as the file, you know, the whole folder with all the files in it, or, it, you know what, if it's a zip, or if it's in a folder, I don't know, if it's in a zip, you need to extract it to a new folder on your desktop, name it, name the folder something that you'll definitely know what it is, or if the game comes, if, when you download it in a folder, just take that folder, and then you need to make a data disc, a CD, a DVD, either one will work if you have a, a USB, D DVD drive. Um, you can't make Blu-ray data discs unless you have a special USB Blu-ray drive. Um, but, you know, I believe I made my Lego Island on a CD. Well, I copied the files that I downloaded onto a CD. Well, I burned them to a CD. And that CD is upstairs. And it's somewhere... I don't know where. Um, but you take that CD, and you have to put it in your computer. I, have, I haven't tested this on Windows 10 yet, like I said, but eh, whatever. Um, but yeah, it actually expects itself to be on a disk. This is why if you put a floppy disk into a floppy disk drive and you plug it into your Windows 10 PC, if you just take all the files off of the floppy disk and... Take the floppy disk out, and well, let's just say like one of your friends comes over and he has the USB floppy disk drive, and you know you can't keep that drive forever, so you give it back to him, and you know you think you can use the the files just fine, but you can't because it expects it to be on a floppy disk. I mean, you could. I haven't tried burning the files to a CD yet, but I honestly don't think that it would really work that well. And I would have to make two separate CDs because, well, there's two separate floppy disks in the program, the particular program that I'm trying to run. Yeah. Um, that's it.